In Activity 2.04, I'll demonstrate printing a relationship report and displaying sub-data sheet records. In the last lesson, we covered creating table relationships. In this lesson, notice that I have 2A Instructors courses open. Click on the database tools. Click on Relationships. And you'll see the current relationships between tables. We have a one-to-many relationship from instructors to schedule. Now click on Relationship Report, and it formats that diagram in a way that's suitable for saving and or printing. In the Page Size group, under the Print Preview tab, click on Margins, select Normal Margins. And then notice that the Relationships for Last Name, First Name, 2A Instructors courses is a suitable title. So close this tab and say, yes, you want to save this, accept the default name. And you'll notice that you now have a new icon here. This is a report icon. Now we can close the Relationships. And if I double click on the Relationship Report, I see the report. I don't have to regenerate it. It's just there as one of the objects in the database. Now, let's, let's close the report and double-click Instructors Table to open it up. And notice something that you haven't seen before. There are plus signs alongside each of the instructor's names. Click the plus sign next to Deb Refresh, and you get what's called a sub-data sheet. Essentially, what you're seeing are records from the schedule table, but only those records that relate to this professor or this instructor. I'll just jump down here to Kimberly Perezo, click on that, and we can see the classes that Kimberly will be teaching and that information. So essentially, by relating the tables the way that we did, you now have more functionality and access where you can see which courses relate to which professor.